Hey everyone, I'm going to be reviewing this dash cam, uh, mini LCD card DVR camera recorder. It's uh, on sale on Amazon right now. Um, but pretty good deal. Uh, let you know what's going on with it as well as how to transfer the videos uh, to the computer. It doesn't come with any software, but it's very easy to do. So stay tuned and uh, I'll show you what I've recorded so far and how to get that uh, recording feed onto your computer if you want to watch it there. Alright, I'm not going to bore you to tears with the unboxing video, but anyway, it comes in a little box like this. It has, a, you know, the suction cup mount. It has the 3M sticky mount. I have the, the suction cup mount mounted in the vehicle right now. Obviously, the camera. Um, what you're missing in this, what you're not going to have, is a class 10, class 10 micro SD card. You will need one of those. I recommend go ahead and grabbing a 32 gig uh, micro SD card class 10, and then you're good to go. Everything else, it's got wires, attachments, uh, the power cord, uh, plenty of length. If you want to, you know, I've already ran it through the vehicle. It was really easy. That way, you don't have wires hanging down all over. Um, but let's get into how to use this thing. All right, so this is it. This is the camera. It's very tiny. Um, it has the, the mounting little you know notch on top that you, it slides right into the uh, suction cup or 3M um, mount there, however you want to mount it in your vehicle. There's a button on the side that's going to be the power button. You hold it down for a little bit. Look at that. It comes right on. Easy enough. Um, you don't want to check your upper left. You see it's recording right now. We have a red dot right there. Just go ahead and push that button again. It'll stop recording. This does come on automatically when you start the vehicle, which is nice. It turns off when you stop the vehicle, when it, as long as it's plugged into the power cord. Um, there's a menu button. When you're not recording, uh, what this will do is this will switch through your videos. If you go on the left, if you go on the right, it's going to give you a bunch of options, and, and you can scroll through that. Um, you know, pretty self-explanatory. You know, come down, uh, there's a down and up button. When you get to what you want, you go back to that side button, which is a power button, you just hit it real quick, and that's your, uh, that's your OK button. Then you can set the time and date with it or whatever you need to do. Being as this thing's so tiny, playback is a little bit difficult on it. Um, I mean, you can see it, you can hear it, but it's not the greatest quality because, you know, you're dealing with a really tiny device. So you probably want to watch that on a computer. And they do have the core to do that. It's a USB plug that connects into the side of this. Um, there weren't many instructions and there's no software with it, uh, but pretty simple. I'm just going to walk you through it real quick in case you don't know how to do that. You're going to take the device. Um, we're going to turn it off, so we're just going to hold that side power button. It'll go ahead and flash and then turn off again. Then you're going to take the USB cable that's included with that. Like I said, it has the right connection, and we plug that in. Bear with me. Okay, now that that's plugged in, we'll go ahead and turn it back on. And actually, in this case, it, I'm sorry, it powered itself back on because I already had the computer power running to it. And it's going to give you the options of mass storage or PC camera. Go ahead and click OK on mass storage. My computer, uh, it, go ahead, it goes ahead and it, it gives a little chime. And it let me know that this is currently connected. The USB that's plugged into is a USB drive E. No problem. So you go to your file folder. Um, File Explorer, whatever you're using. All right, here we go. I'm using File Explorer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here until I can see the USB drive E. They told me that's what it's plugged into. You may have to mess around. I don't know what drive you're going to be plugged into with your USB. But just go ahead and click on it. You're going to have a folder in there called DCIM. Click on that. And then whatever date you did the recording, um, you know, this was before I set the date and time, so it's going to be here, the one that we just did inside the house. And then obviously you just go to the appropriate time, click on it. It'll give you the option, you know, depending on what you're using, um, you know, what do you want to watch? I'll just use Windows Media Player, that's a safe bet. For some reason it's making me do this again. And it'll pop open for you. You want to check your upper left. You see it's recording right now. We have a red. 
So that's obviously what we just recorded, but you can see it's very easy to do. As long as you follow those steps, you can play it back on your computer. Um, I'll show you a recording from earlier today. Um, this was uh, driving back from the store. So pretty good audio quality, great video quality here in a very compact unit. Um, you can see there's a wide field of vision. I got the whole intersection here as a major intersection. All in all, a great little camera, especially if it was on sale for 30 bucks. You can't go wrong. So um, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. If this helped you out, give me a like. And uh, as always, you can subscribe on YouTube. Have a great day.